China's powerful trade weapon. China holds powerful cards in the trade war, and none are more critical than its dominance over rare earth elements, the lifeblood of modern technology. As of 2024, China controls about 69% of global rare earth mining and nearly 90% of global refining capacity. Even more striking, China has filed over 25,000 rare earth patents more than double the US, making it not just the factory but the brain of this critical supply chain. But why didn't the US and the West refine their own rare earths, even though they sit on large reserves? The answer is part tragedy, part strategy. First, refining rare earths is toxic and radioactive. Environmental regulations in the West made it expensive and politically toxic. Second, China crushed competitors by flooding the market with cheap supply in the 1990s and early 2000s, driving U.S. refiners like Mountain Pass into shutdown. Third, the West got too comfortable with globalization, outsourcing everything, assuming China would always supply. And fourth, while China invested billions and built a rare earth empire, the West focused on finance and digital tech, ignoring the materials that power them, even today, the Mountain Pass mine in California ships ores back to China for refining, yes, still. Only now, in a scramble, the US is funding domestic refining and working with partners like Australia, but it's years behind. So when China threatens to cut off rare earth exports or tightens controls, it's not just flexing economic muscle, it's holding the West's entire tech infrastructure hostage. Rare earths aren't just for gadgets, they're mission critical for US national defense and advanced tech. They're used in semiconductors, fighter jets, satellites, nuclear submarines, and missile guidance systems. One F-35 jet alone needs over 400 pounds of rare earths like neodymium and samarium. Lasers, radar, sonar, stealth coatings, all rely on elements like yttrium, terbium, and dysprosium. If China bans rare earth exports, the U.S. could struggle to build missiles, power submarines, or maintain satellite communication systems. The Defense Department already flagged rare earths as a national security risk. If you enjoyed this short update, don't forget to like and subscribe for more, thank you.